Good day grade 11 welcome to this last lesson on trig functions. In this lesson we're going to be looking at mixed examples so we're going to be covering every type of question that we've been done, we've been doing so far. So the first question is why we want us to plot y is equal to minus cos 2 theta. Now in the last few lessons I've been stressing big time that you guys need to be able to draw your basic cos sine and tan graph so you can know what the manipulations are. So let's start with doing that and I'm just going to do it up here very briefly. So your cos graph we know goes through 90, I mean one up and down like that. It starts off at 1, this is 90, this here is 180, that there is 270 and that there is at 1, it is back at 360. So this is the first thing we know. We know that the cos graph is going to, that's your standard cos graph. Now let's look at this. We've got y is equal to minus cos 2 theta. Now first of all what does the minus do? The minus flips this, okay? So if I had to draw this graph, we know immediately, just let's, if this was for example y is equal to minus cos theta, we would have just that this would go upside down, right? So go 1, up, down and back down again. So that is the minus part, that's sorting that out. Now we have to worry about the 2, but remember that we've got y is equal to a cos k theta and this k messes with what? It messes with the period and we said that the bigger the period, the, I mean the bigger the number, bigger k, the smaller the period. But there's a very easy way we can do this. What we can do is we can just plug in some numbers. So what we can say is let theta equal zero. Okay, if theta is zero, do you agree you've got y is equal to minus cos of two times zero, which is just zero. So therefore that is going to be at our minus one. That's not a problem. But if we had to say let zero equal theta equal 90 degrees, then do you agree that we've got y is equal to minus cos of 2 times 90? And then we can just whip out our calculator and we can plop it in. So we go y is equal to minus cos 2 times 90, so we're going to go minus cos bracket 2 times 90 which is actually 180 and we see that it's at 1 already so at 90 degrees it is at 1. Okay so do you see that this cos graph has done that? In fact let me just correct this because that's not perfectly correct because what is actually happening and we've taught you this in the previous examples is if this is 2 then my period is halved. So what would happen is it's always the inverse of whatever that k is. So if my k is 2 my period is halved. So my normal period for my cos graph is 360. Now my period of the graph is going to be 180 which means that this whole graph is going to fit this red graph, the negative version of this, is going to fit into 180 degrees instead of into 360 which means it has to go through the 45, back through the 135 and back through the 180. So this is what my graph looks like now. So there we go. Now grade 11s, you are welcome to go and pop in all the num other numbers. Y is equal to minus cos of 2 times 180, etc, etc, etc. And find all these values. But it, the whole point of my previous lessons was for you guys to understand what was happening. And because if you understand that by doubling K, by making your K 2, we are halving the period, then it becomes very easy to draw these graphs, right? So there we've got minus 2, now what have we got? We know that this has got to finish again at 360, so it is going to be back up here and back down there, so it's going to go through here and through here. It is not, when you draw this, going to be quite as pointy as my graph because you have pencils and erasers. And now we're doing exactly the same thing. We know by minus 90 it has to be at minus 1. So it's going to be like that. And then at minus 180 it's back down to minus 1. 
and then back up and back down. Yes. So, do you see that by knowing that the negative flips it and by knowing that this doubling of your theta halves the period, it is very easy to draw this graph now. And then what is our amplitude? Our amplitude is still 1. Our range is still from minus 1 to 1. But the period has been halved. It now takes 180 degrees to get back to the start of the next cycle. So therefore the period is 180 degrees. Let's look at another example. Now we've got y is equal to 2 sine 2 theta, 2 sine 2 theta. And again, grade 11's, again, it's just start off by drawing a basic sine graph. We know that that's at 90, 180, 270, and 360, and that's at 1. Now, what does this 2 in the front do? It messes with my amplitude. And 2 times that, if I wrote y is equal to 2 sine theta, what do we know? We know that it's double the height. So all that's going to happen is that this is going to go up and it's going to come down where this is going to be 2 and this is going to be minus 2. Now we have to look at this 2 theta and it's exactly the same as it was in the last example. This is the same as y is equal to a k, oops, sine k theta, where k affects your period. And remember what we said, that if k was 2, what happens to our period? The period is the inverse of that, so the period is 1 over 2. So the period is half of what it would normally be, and the period of a normal graph is 360, a normal sine graph is 360, so now the period is going to be 180. So norm, where it's normally at 90, it's now going to be at 45, where it's normally at 180, it's now going to be at 90, and so on and so on. And like I said to you before, grade 11s, if you struggle with this, if you struggle with this concept of what's happening, plug in the numbers, plot it. I don't have a problem with that. But the reason I'm not doing that is because I need you to be able to understand what these things are doing. So yes, you can just plug in the numbers. It'll take forever in an exam. We don't want you to spend so many hours doing this. But it's fine if you do it if you want to get to grips with it, but I really want to stress that you need to understand what's happening. So let's go through this. Where it would normally be at 90, it's now at 45, and the period has doubled. So where it would normally be at 1, I mean with the amplitude is doubled. So where it would normally be at 1, it's now at 2. Where it would normally be at 180, it's now at 90 because it's half of it. But the amplitude again now is going to be minus 2, and it's minus 2 at, sorry, let me get this right, that's right, and then back up here. So this, we, I apologize for the sounds, is your new graph, your y, this is your y is equal to 2 sine 2 theta. And you will see again where it's normally at 270, it's now going to be, okay fine, so let me just do this again. So now it has to finish a whole loop again in our next 180 degrees. So we're just aiming. And again, grade 11s, please, 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 I'm asking nicely, please make your graphs prettier than my graphs. Like I said a billion times already, I have a problem in that I'm drawing this with a digital pen and pad. So I have a problem with my friction, whereas you guys are going to have pencils and erasers. And if you don't do prettier graphs than mine, I would be very upset. Okay, they don't have to be beautiful, but they certainly don't have to be as pointy as my graph is, or as wiggly. But the point is that you now know that your amplitude is what? It has doubled. So the amplitude is now 2. The range has also doubled because we're now going from 2 to minus 2. Our range is now from minus 2 to 2. But what has happened to our period? Our period is halved, so we've got only 180 degrees. 
Right, let's look at another example. Right, grade 11s, let's have a look at this graph, okay? This says y is equal to cos a half theta plus 45. Now, before we panic, let's just analyze this. What does this say? And this is saying y is equal to cos k theta plus p, where k affects my period, right? And p, p affects my shift, my horizontal shift, my horizontal shift. And which way is the shifting? Since this is plus, it's shifting to the left. Right. So grade 11s, if we think about what our cars graph should be looking at, okay, our cars graph should look like this. We know that it should start off at 90. And there we go. Okay. So so it starts off at 90 and it's going to be 1 that there is 90. It starts with 1, sorry. Then this is at minus 1, 180, 270 and 360. Right, so that is the first thing that is happening. But now what's happened is this halving, if we half k, if k is a half, what happens to our period? Our period is two times what it would normally be. Okay, our period is two times. We're now the normal period of a cos graph is 360. Now the period is going to be 720. So if I have to draw just this positive version, do you agree that where it is one is going to be one? That's not a problem. But now where it's normally at 90, it's going to be at 180. And where it's normally at 180, it's going to be over here it's doubled so therefore it's going to be there so this is the part of the graph that this is going to look like it's going to look like that that would just be if i had y is equal to cos a half theta right but now what am i doing i'm shifting it over by 45 degrees and i'm shifting it over this way which means that if I have another color, what is happening? We are taking this graph and we are shifting it over by 45 degrees. So where it would normally be at 1, at, at 0, it is now going to be at minus 45 degrees. Where it would normally be at 180, it's now going to be at 135 degrees. So it's been shifted over, it's been shifted over, Okay, and where it would normally be at 360 is going to be 360 degrees minus 45, so it's going to be at 315 degrees. So that's where it's going to be. So let's now plot this. So with normally at zero, it would be one, but now at minus 45 degrees, it's going to be one. Okay. Normally at 180 degrees, it would be zero, but now it's zero at 135 degrees. Normally it would be minus one at th 360, but now it's going to be 360 minus 45. Okay. So that is the one half, the one half of my graph. Okay, now let's carry on on the negative side. Now on the negative side, let's just extend this line. Let's go to a different color. Let's go back here. And do you agree that normally the graph would look like this? And it goes back up where this is going to be negative 90, negative 270, and that's negative 360. And then if we put the red in, we can see what would happen by halving it. That means that normally at where it would normally be, it's going to be down here, and then it's going to be down there. That's what it normally looks like. But now it's been moved over by 45 degrees. So if we go back to our green, we can see that where it normally would be minus 180, it's now at the next number here, so it's going to be there. 
okay and then finally it would actually end up being minus one down here somewhere so it's not quite a full one here okay so that is your graph it looks very scary you can plot the points in grade 11s by letting theta equal different angles and then finding it out or you can solve for it you could actually go Let's see where cos theta equals zero. We could say zero is equal to cos a half theta plus 45 degrees. And then you do second function cos of theta and you find out that that should be 90 degrees is equal to half theta plus 45 degrees. And when you solve for it, you'll find that theta is equal to zero at 135 degrees so then you can solve for it so it's not so difficult but let's have a look I really want you to learn how to just understand it so the amplitude is still 1 the range is still from minus 1 to 1 and the period now has been doubled the period is now 720 degrees the shift to the left to right does not affect any of these right Right, we've got y is equal to sine theta plus the t plus 1. So before we panic, let's just have a look at this. We've got y is equal to sine theta plus p plus q. So what are we doing? This p is shifting the graph horizontally. Because it is a plus, we know that it's shifting it backwards. And in this case, it's shifting backwards by 30 degrees. And the q is shifting the graph up by 1. So again, we're just going to draw a very rough, basic graph so that we know what we're playing with. OK, so we know that this is 1 at 90 at 180. To 70 it's at minus 1 and this is 360 right that is our basic sine graph now we are told that it's being moved over left by 30 degrees so we would normally be at 90 it is now at minus 30 and where it normally is at 90 it's now going to be 90 minus 30 which is 60 at 180 it's going to be 180 minus 30 which is 150 270 minus 30 is 240 360 minus is 330 so it's going to be yeah and then it comes through yeah and then it goes through there and it goes back up okay so that would be that change then obviously we can extrapolate it onto that but now what's happened is we've moved this whole graph up by one up by one so it's normally at zero it's now going to be at one where it's normally at one it's going to be at two zero is going to be back down to one where it's normally at minus one it's going to be at zero and where it's normally at zero it's going to be at one so let's now draw this graph let's just draw this bit and then we'll extrapolate out that way so at minus 30 degrees we're now at 1 at 60 degrees which is about here because that's 45 that's 90 so 60 degrees it's now at 2 that's 1 and that's 2 at a hundred and what is this 150 degrees it's going to be back to 1 so that there is 135, 150 degrees is about over there. At 240 degrees, it's back down to zero. And at 330 degrees, it is back up to one. So this graph now looks like this. And back down and up. Okay, and now we can extend this graph. So now we're going minus 90. It's now going to be minus 120. Minus 180 is now going to be minus 210. And it's going to be back up here. Minus 270 is going to be minus 300. And 
minus 360 it's actually going to be at 390 so it just carries on over there it's not quite back down right so do you see that that is our new graph of y is equal to sine theta plus 30 degrees plus 1 and grade 11s again I stress to you very seriously that if you struggle with this just pop the numbers in and you will find your graph okay but if you are struggling and I would if you're going to pop them in I would do every 15 degrees or every 30 degrees just to make sure but if you can't the best best thing is to try and work out what's going on because then you are truly understanding these graphs. Okay, so the amplitude is still 1 because the distance from the 0 um, line of disturbance is still 1 but the range now is from 0 to 2 and our period hasn't changed because there's been no change in the number here so the period is still 360 degrees and that grade 11 is all our trig graphs for grade 11. Have a wonderful day. Please go practice lots and then do the assessment at the end of the section.